Okay, so what are amino acids? Um, amino acids, they are the building blocks of proteins. Proteins are polymeric in nature. They are made up of monomers and these monomers are known as amino acid. Now each amino acid contains an amino group which is positively charged at physiological pH, a carboxylic group which is negatively charged at physiological pH, a hydrogen and a side chain that is also known as R group. Now the carbon to which all these different groups are attached is known as alpha carbon. So there are 20 different amino acids and these different amino acids differ from each other based on their side chain or their R group. And this R group, it varies in structure, size, and electric charge. So meaning that some of the R group might be quite big while others will be small. Some might be positively charged, other might be negatively charged. Now what is a peptide bond? So peptide bond is a type of a covalent bond. It is a condensation reaction in which the carboxylic group of one amino acid combines with amino group of another amino acid with the release of water molecule, which ultimately results in the formation of a peptide bond. Now the amino acids, when they are linked by a peptide bond, they are known as amino acid residues. So a chain of 50 amino acids are less than that. When they are joined together, they are known as peptide or polypeptide, while a protein term is usually reserved for longer chains. Now the synthesis of this polypeptide chain is always from N to C terminus. So this is, uh, I have shown the formation of a peptide bond. So this is amino acid number one, that is amino acid number two. We can see this carboxylic group, that is amino group. So they join together with the release of water and we have this peptide bond. And the chain elongates from N to C terminus. We call it as N terminus or amino terminus because at that the uh, it has got a, a free amino group while the C terminus has got a free carboxylic group. So this is another representation um, uh, in which I have shown um, the attachment of three different amino acids along with their side chains. But one of the interesting thing is uh, in this in this figure is that we can see this repeating units of NH, CH and C double bond. So we have one, this is two and that one is three. Now we have this repeating unit of NH, CH, C double bond in a polypeptide chain and we call it as a backbone. So it stays the same and which is the area inside the box and the side chain you can see that um, uh, methionine has a R group which is quite bigger than the R group of valine. Similarly, phenylalanine has a side chain like that. So the, the backbone, it stays the same. However, the side chains, they interact with each other um, in order to make a stable three-dimensional structure of the protein, which I will discuss in, in, in my later lectures about the uh, uh, different types of interactions which we can see um, in the three-dimensional structure of the proteins. Thank you very much.